Back now with new information about a Chesapeake woman hit and killed by a suspected drunk driver. It happened over the weekend in Currituck County. North Carolina Highway Patrol say 29-year-old Lindsay Parsons was walking along South Spot Road when she was hit. Charles Baum is facing charges in her death. Ten on your side's Brandi Cummings spent the day in Currituck County. She's back now in our newsroom. Brandi, what did you find out? Well, Stephanie Lore, according to the North Carolina Highway Patrol, the victim was leaving a wedding where she'd been the photographer. She was heading to her car when she was hit. And tonight, troopers have a message for all pedestrians in the Outer Banks. This is the area where North Carolina Highway Patrol troopers say 29 year old Lindsay Ann Parsons was hit and killed Saturday night. This is a picture of the victim from a GoFundMe page set up for her family. Troopers say Parsons had just left a wedding reception and was walking to her car headed toward Caratoke Highway. Tin on your side has learned the event was held at a home on Orchard Lane, not far from where the accident happened. Uh, the pedestrian was walking with traffic as, as opposed to uh, against oncoming traffic and was struck from behind by a 2000. 2004 Toyota Corolla. Troopers say the driver, Charles Baum, is the one who called police at 11.23 p.m. and stayed until they arrived. The caller stated that he believed he had struck a person while driving on Spot Road. Baum was arrested, charged with driving while impaired and felony death by police. Troopers say Baum posted the $20,000 bail and was released. There are no sidewalks or streetlights in the area, and tonight, troopers want to educate others who walk in the Outer Banks. We seem to have quite a few pedestrian struck here at the Outer Banks, and a lot of times it's because people are walking with traffic when they should be walking against it, where they would be able to see the vehicles coming towards them. And none of Lindsay Parsons' friends or family we contacted wanted to talk to us today. They were understandably upset. Meanwhile, the suspect, Charles Baum, is scheduled to face a judge on Wednesday. Live in the newsroom, I'm Brandi Cummings, 10 on your side.